YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I have another pickups video for you here. Uh, some of these things aren't totally stellar or anything like that, but a few things I did want to add into my collection, and the prices were right on most of it. Um, the one thing I did put together was a Facebook uh, deal, and I bought a bunch of different games for 20 bucks, uh, seven games actually, and so I'll go through those right now. Uh, not really a killer deal, but I think some of it's a bit of an upgrade for me, and um, but most of the stuff I already had, it'll be basically good uh, fodder, I think, for uh, selling off systems and things like that, that I really need to get out of the retro dungeon and back onto the streets kind of thing. So, let's get started with that immediately. The first one of the $20 deal was Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. I don't really have any interest in this title whatsoever. It was just part of the deal, so it was in there. Um, I don't... When I usually make these kind of deals, I don't sit there and like, you know, haggle with people in the sense that, uh, you know, just pick out the couple of titles that I do want to get. I just take the whole thing and I'll pay for the whole thing. Usually I don't want people getting stuck with things because I hate it when people try to do that to me. So, um, you know, I took this, not really something that I really want, but uh, something that's kind of cool is this title right here, Midnight Club 2. Um, unfortunately, it's disc only and... This disc is not in the world's greatest shape, so it probably will need to be resurfaced. It's pretty ugly, actually, but I do have uh, the Skip Doctor, so I will run that through the Skip Doctor. That should be pretty cool right there. Uh, moving on, something that I don't really have any particular interest in, just because um, I have it on the original Xbox, and I kind of prefer that system. It just has better graphics, generally speaking, for these kinds of things, is uh, Ghost Recon 2. So I didn't have this one already. It is complete and the manual is in great shape too. It looks like pretty much brand new. The disc, uh, it's just got some fingerprints on it, but otherwise it's pretty much near perfect. So it's a nice little addition. It probably isn't gonna go into my collection. Those will probably end up being uh, one of those things I bundle with the system just because it is in fairly good shape. And then moving on, I picked up a copy of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I believe I don't have this in my collection already unfortunately it has no manual and it's in this blockbuster case so I'll have to do a case swap on this one. Um, that's the other downside to it is this one's definitely not perfect. It's not horrible or anything like that but it's definitely not perfect. Um, I will probably upgrade that in the future and uh, but it, at the same time it is something that I was sort of looking for because I didn't have it in my collection already so pretty cool right there. Another game that I already have is Shadow of the Colossus, and this was a little bit disappointing because um, it is disc only. I wish, really wish this one had it, had the manual and things like that for it, because it would definitely replace my copy, uh, because I believe my copy is a greatest hits copy. And the disc, though, is in fairly decent shape. There's a few minute scratches and stuff on it, but it's not too bad, so pretty good find, though. I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent title to get in the slot, so pretty cool right there. Uh, the last two titles are sort of hit and miss, like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I wanted to get my hands on them. They don't have a whole ton of value, which made it kind of difficult to swallow this deal a little bit. Uh, not like a horrible deal, it's just not really that great either. Um, is th but this one's here, Final Fantasy X. I do have this one already, I believe, but I'm not certain. I don't think this one, mine's complete. This one is. Unfortunately, it is greatest hits, but again, that's not a big deal to me. I mean, obviously, I'd prefer not to be. I just like the, the um, you know, like the solid binding and not having that on the top of it. But at the same time, not a big deal. Um, this is definitely a uh, game that I did want to get in my collection. I think there's probably HD uh, remakes of this. Is probably why this thing has gone down in value. Now, this is something that I want to know about the series. Um, I played the original Final Fantasy. I did not play the SNES ones because I didn't have one back in the day. And um, I did play some Final Fantasy stuff on the PS1. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what's the best way of going around basically playing all of the Final Fantasy games, but you know, in the best possible kind of scenario. So what I'm looking for essentially, you know, like if these games are made into HD remakes on PS3 or something like that, then that's kind of the road I would go through, but there's so many different Final Fantasy titles. I'm trying to figure out like what's the best way to play all of the games, um, 
as far as like collecting goes and I think this one probably was because it doesn't have that you know high value on it kind of thing and then the last one is Final Fantasy X2 and this one here is complete as well and the manuals are just like gorgeous shape uh, the disc itself is let's see here this one's actually pretty decent there's a couple of scratches on there but otherwise it's just basically dusty so kind of a cool find right there uh, I think the one that I have is probably greatest hit so this will definitely be an upgrade for me so that's kind of nice uh, nothing really stellar in there that I didn't have already though for the most part so you know not really like a killer deal or anything like that but for 20 bucks I thought I would go for it uh, but like I said not the world's greatest deal uh, the next things come from thrift shops and again nothing really stellar here but a couple of upgrades and things like that for me so I'll get started on that right now. Uh, the first thing that I found actually was from uh, Talees, and they had a whole bunch of different like PS2, Xbox kind of peripheral sort of items and things like that. Uh, this one here is the component gold. So what this is is uh, component cables, which you can see right here. They actually uh, have the gold shielding on them, which I think gives you the best quality kind of thing that's going on for this anyways and then it also has a PS2 um, connector here and it has original Xbox connector right there so I'm always interested in you know like maximizing my consoles in the HD format kind of thing so this is pretty cool I just had to pick this up um, it was five dollars but I think this is really a wonderful item actually to bundle with systems if you're selling them as well and on the same note, I picked up another one, same price, so, you know, 10 bucks for the two, pretty awesome deal right there. Um, the way it worked out, actually, I picked up one more item, and then uh, when I took it up to the counter, I had a dollar off because I had accumulated enough points, so kind of nice. Um, this is also a really awesome find as well. This is a, um, an Intech PS3 charging station, so what you do is you basically plug, you know, the PS3 cable into this, and then it will charge... Uh, two controllers now. I don't know if this is like the, a good charger or anything like that, but I thought I would try it out. It's pretty cool nonetheless. You can basically like you set up your two controllers in it, and it'll charge away and stuff like that, and sync them up with your system. So pretty cool all around. Um, Four dollars for it, so I thought that would be kind of neat. I do have a charging station already that actually charges four controllers at a time, but. You know, eventually these things wear out, so this will be a good uh, backup. And for you know, four dollars, I thought that was a pretty sweet deal right there. Uh, moving on, I did stop off at a Goodwill today, and they had 50% uh, off their games and stuff like that, which always piques my interest. So, ended up picking up a few titles. Now, nothing really stellar here, but again, you know, it's it was 50% off day, so pretty good deals all around. The first one here is All-Star Racing, uh, get a title which I didn't have, otherwise I probably would have left it behind. Um, it is complete, which is really nice. And uh, disc is okay, there's a few scratches on there. Uh, most of that's just fingerprints though, so I'll, I'll be able to clean that up pretty nicely, I think. And uh, I've never really played this title, so I have no idea, but um, it looks kind of interesting, to say the least. You know, a racing game on the PS1. There's a ton of them, so hard to distinguish, like, you know, which ones are the greatest kind of thing, because I haven't played them all. So this is going to be pretty cool to check out, though, and again, something I didn't have in my collection, so pretty wicked right there. Uh, that one there was $1.50 because it was half price day. And also for $1.50 was um, Extreme, or One Extreme. I'm not really sure how you say this one. Uh, you can tell me. This one's a greatest hits version of it. It's not the world's greatest shape, that's for sure, but um, with it came the disc. Actually, the disc itself is in, I think, if I recall correctly, this one's in really good shape. Just needs to be cleaned. It's dusty. That's about it. Um, you know, $1.50. I thought that was pretty cool, but the thing was, inside the case as well, it was a copy of Twisted Metal Small Brawl, which I've never actually played before. I didn't even know it existed. Um, it's basically, I looked it up, it's basically like a Twisted Metal game, but you're driving around RC cars. So, kind of interesting to check out. Unfortunately, uh, this has a gigantic Blockbuster sticker all over top of it. So, I'm going to uh, attempt 
to remove that and it's one of those things where it says removal of the disc shield will cause permanent damage if the label is removed the customer will pay for the cost of the disc well i'm not going to pay for the cost of the disc to blockbuster but uh i am going to give it a shot trying to remove that i think what i'll probably do is um end up heating it up with the hair dryer and just slowly using the goo on and trying to get underneath that without um ripping it apart i have attempted to take one of these shields off before and i did manage to uh, destroy the disc doing it it was on a really cheap game so i, I was just kind of testing out different techniques and stuff like that with it and i uh, just got a little overzealous with it and ended up wrecking it but i don't want to wreck this one although the back of this one is pretty beat up it's uh, quite scratched up so i may need to resurface this as well obviously it's a blockbuster rental so you know it's been probably through the rounds kind of thing but um, still something that I was willing to take a shot on. And, you know, it was thrown in with this. So for $1.50, I ended up getting those two games. This one's obviously loose, though. Um, pretty cool, nonetheless. And then moving on, this is pretty pretty cool. Um, doesn't have a ton of value or anything like that, but I don't really care as far as that goes because this is a um, upgrade for me. My copy of this particular title is a Greatest Hits Edition, so this is not one, uh, not a Greatest Hits Edition, and the discs are in good shape from what I remember. It's uh, Siphon Filter 2, and like I said, there's the, the not Greatest Hits version of it, so really wicked. Uh, you can see a, a label on there that says 8 bucks, but I actually paid 4 for this, so I thought that was a pretty decent deal. And um, again, all of these, I mean, they're, this is actually in really like, perfect shape, which is really awesome. Uh, even the case is in good shape, there's no cracks or anything like that in it. That's like a pretty mint disc, so for that, I, I really couldn't turn that one down. It's absolutely amazing. Um, the thing with this is I actually uh, got these off the cart again, so carts were coming out and I just scooped these up immediately kind of thing. I didn't even get to the glass, they didn't even get near the glass case uh, before I got to them. It seems to be my habit now. I seem to be going in and every single time I walk in there's something on a cart um, coming out and essentially that's the only way I'm getting stuff so kind of interesting. Uh, same boat I found, there's a bunch of PS2 titles on one of the carts and uh, none of them really interest me. A bunch of different like soccer games for PS2, uh, everything there was PS2 and um, while I do pick up some PS2 stuff, like I did pick up that PS2 bundle earlier on, I'm sort of shying away from the PS2 a little bit. It's just not one of those systems that I have a ton of nostalgia for, and I know a lot of people are going to hate on me for that, but uh, get over yourself, basically. <laughs> because um, with that system, there's a lot of different games, I feel, that I can have a similar experience um, on a PS3 with a PS3 kind of game. So I don't really, you know, see the see the thing of collecting a ton of PS2 games, although it seems to be the thing that I'm running into a lot. But, um, you know, like those Final Fantasy games, fine, I'll pick up those kind of things, but uh, I'm sort of trying to thin out my PS2, my PS2 stuff a little bit, unless there's some sort of really unique experience. And I know there is a ton of unique experiences on the system, so I'm not totally like ditching it or anything like that, it's just um, not my total area of interest for collecting. But uh, I picked up a second copy of TMNT again. This one's going to be going for trade because I did pick this up earlier, uh, not too long ago actually. This one here is complete and I'm trying to remember because I pick up so many games. <laughs> I can't even remember um, if the other copy that I picked up is complete, but it has a really mint manual. And the disc is fairly scratched up though. That's the only problem with it. I will have to resurface this likely. But uh, once I do, I think it'll be perfectly fine. It might even play the way it is, but I'll probably just end up resurfacing anyways because it looks quite awful. But the, um, the case and the manual and everything are really nice on this one. So likely that part of it will be an upgrade for me once I get all the stickers and things like that off of there. Uh, for that, I paid $2.50, so I thought that was pretty decent as well. Uh, that's everything that I picked up recently. Um, as you can see, not really like super high-end titles or anything like that, but some stuff like mostly just upgrades and things like that for me, which is really awesome because I do um, want to, you know, get my my collection in the best possible condition. So pretty awesome right there. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below. I will see you all later.